Double digit value. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. First round, we got Twisted versus T-U-R. We are on Cold Tower. We see that pig trap right in front of Ace who spawned in. We see Ace rocking that balance landing borrow time. We see Fang rocking that live borrow time. We see, what's the hell's her name again? Catherine, what's her name again? Cheryl rocking that borrow time and Unbreakable Pig is on him. We're gonna follow this chase right now. A pallet goes down and he runs into a wall. He's gonna go into the shack here. Okay. I want to see what the pig's perks are, but we're going to follow this chase real quick. We're going to assume he has corrupt intervention and that he's running around the non-corrupted gins. He's going to make this window vault. Nope, he will not. And wow. Okay, and Pally dropped the pally. He didn't have to drop pally. He could have just took the sprint burst and took it. Yeah, this is... Okay, no bamboozle. Okay, this is a lot of pallets going in this area. This area is gonna become effectively a dead zone soon. And this is where the non-corrupted gins are, so we'll see how this goes. I expect this pallet to go down as well. It did. Pig is gonna break it. Yeah, this is a lot of pallets out. I think we see Dwight coming in trying to take aggro, and Pig will leave him to take the aggro. Pig should commit to a chase and get a down to put pressure in the hat. Okay. And Payne had, with that live, Thing with that live gets, but remember, all these pallets is gone. He makes the window, mate. No, he does not make the window. He does not make the window. This is a very strong start for him. We have two injured survivors. One, one gin is off the uh, board. That other gin might be popping soon if they got on it because Fang was working on it from the beginning. So it should be moving pretty far. Yeah, we see it moving. No blood on the ground. I don't think I saw blood. So this might be an uninjured survivor. I don't think they're going for a reset right now. Yeah, this is an uninjured survivor because there's no blood in the ground. It's that Dwight. And now we have, I believe that's going to be complexity in this chase. Excuse me, Ryan in this chase. Ryan who's a good survivor. We're going to see how he plays this jungle gym. And Pig leaves it. He doesn't do, have to do hard vault. He can't tell her where he is. But he did it anyway. I think he wants to keep the aggro, actually. Okay, Pig is staying near this gin because this is the gin that's movement. I don't. Oh, and he finds that's complexity. Complexity in his LNT walls. We'll see how he plays this. To the pallet, the strong loop. Good non drop. That's experienced survivor. He knows when he does and doesn't have to drop it. He's going to get. Yeah, he got hit here. So that, that LNT with that pallet is going to be a strong loop for them, which is probably going to be one of their only backside defenses since a lot of pallets have dropped early. We have three gins off the board. No survivors down. We got to check out Pig's perks. What do we got here? We got Corrupt, which is down. We got Pop Goes the Weasel. We got Brutal Strength to help. Well, got those pallets down and was able to keep with the chase off of it. And we got Pain going down. This is going to be the first survivor hook with a trap on his head. Pig is unique with applying the pressure. We see three injured survivors, so it's not over. It's, it, Pig's in a bad situation right now, but it's not over. And we actually see a three gen over here. Pig does have a three gen on the back side. Wisely, the ace wisely gets off that gen. We got pop on this gen. They might be thinking for a reset right now. If I'm the survivors, I'm probably doing a reset. Pig is going to probably give up that gen in the back because she doesn't need it. If I'm the survivors, I'm doing a reset. Let's take the gin that's given to us. Wow, and the quick unhook that's borrow time is going to be affecting on that. It, it seems as though they're not elected for the, They took the gin that was given to them. Now, okay, if I'm the survivors, I'm going to slow down. Pig is not going to leave this three gin. Slow down, get a full reset, then attack this together. They cannot piecemeal this. And for the dash attack, he leaves that. Experienced survivor is going to leave. He's going to get down here, though. Oh, excuse me. He's going to get hit here. I, he wasn't injured. Okay. The survivors and Payne got the trap off. Okay. If I'm the survivors, I'm going somewhere. I'm doing a full reset. And then we're going to attack this gym strat together. This is a ridiculous three gen. Each gen is within a stone's throw of each other. I do not see Pig leaving it though. So that's gonna be enough time for the survivors to do the reset, which it appears that they are doing. And we're gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how they attack this. 
so far we have one hook on pain no other hooks pig still has three traps left all of the gins on the left side of this back side are down so that's a dead zone we still have this pallet with this strong lnt wall we're gonna see how he plays that so here's the thing pig has a good three gin strat but like i always say a three gin strat is only as good as the pressure you can apply it to. Whenever Pig gets a hit on the survivor, the survivor is going to run off, and chances are she's not going to be able to chase because that's going to give the other survivors a chance to double up the gins. And the survivors are also going to have free res free resets whenever they want it. This is why a lot of killers say, "Oh, I've got a three gin, I'm going to win it." Not necessarily. Good survivors are going to know how to attack this, and if you can't get like, what is the pig going to do? Get a hit and chase off? No. They, they pretty much have free runoffs. This might be a long game. So the strategy here with them, if I'm the survivors, are to find the two gins. Find two gins. Double both of them. Keep the double going until she comes. Chase someone off. Take a hit. And keep that going. And eventually they'll piece her apart. We also see that she does not have no ed or rancor, so there's no threat of a late game. I mean, the survivors don't know this, but there's no threat of a late game one hit down to Mori situation. The gin, they should be hitting this gin. This gin should be getting double because this one also has a run. It should be these two gins. Actually, these two. Actually, make your choice on the three gins, on the two gins you want to hit up. But you see this, this patty cake thing? This is what I always make this point. Killers are so big on. Oh, get a three gen, get a three gen. A three gen is only as good as the pressure you can apply to survivors with it. If they get free runoffs and you can't down them, like a three gen for each killer is not the same. Let's say someone like maybe a killer with a one shot, Bubba, the new Bubba at least, Bubba, Hillbilly, let's say Oni, Huntress because of the way her hatchet mechanics work, Nurse, they can do certain things with three gens. But typical R2 killers is going to be difficult um, maintaining these three gens. However, if let's say there were two or three survivors remaining, that would be a different situation. But with all four survivors remaining, I don't care what three gen you got. Unless you have one of the killers I named beforehand. Yeah, they can commit a little longer to some of these gens. Just to speed it up. I mean, they're eventually going to piece her apart. Especially since she's not going to get any pop goes the weasel. And since the... Um, and, a, and a killer kicking a gen does like nothing on regression. I, I expect Feng, who's paying to keep attacking that backside gen... Yep. And Payne got the backside gin. We saw adrenaline pop off of a survivor. All four survivors are remaining. It's, I mean, it comes to a point of what can you do right now as the killer. And killer opens the door. This is the problem with having standard R2 killers. I'm expecting killer concede the game. Killer conceded the game. GG survivors, GG killer. First round goes to TUR with a score of one for the survivors, zero for the killer. And let's get ready for the second round. Okay, here we go. We are going into round two. And we see complexity rocking that for the people. Spine chill. So the killer chose the game. Apparently, survivors are expecting stealth killer. You see all of them rocking that spine chill so far, at least. We got TUR pain over here. It is a doctor. I would have thought doctor also. I don't. So the spine shield is absolutely useless right now. You see Payne rocking that spine shield and unbreakable. Can't wait to see doctor's perks. I'm really surprised the killer chose this map, even with doctor. This is a very difficult map. I know a lot of people think it's killer side i have no idea why and pain runs into a wall and wow doctor misses he doesn't miss that time 
Payne's got to be careful with these pallets. He does have Doctor. Doctor has that shock ability throughout to keep him from dropping pallets. He can spam that shock and stop the pallet drops. Wow. What the? Wow. And Payne did some boosted this right now. Okay, and we got Cheryl on a gin that's about 20%. We got Ryan just starting a gen, and we got Complexity on a gen that's about 60, a little more than halfway. That is probably the gen Doc is going to head to, depending on who gets shot, and put Pop on that gen. You see the four the people to stop the tunnel. Now, the spawn chill might actually help them if they hit some great skill checks. It seems as though Twisted wants to force struggle here on Pain, so he's still by a hook, but he's gonna give up three gems on this. And we see everyone with that four to people, but one person doesn't have it. We see everyone else with the four to people, which means when they get her off the hook, do we have any, we don't have any borrowed times. There's only one borrowed time in play. This is going to be interesting how they play this. And the one borrowed time player is running in. I feel like he wants to do a hook swap. He's going to have to hurry up. He gets right before the struggle. Borrowed time is obviously on this fang. This is going to be interesting to see how they do it. They might get in ready for a for the people save. I don't know. And Dr. Will get a hit here. They did not get in position for the four the people. They might be saving it for death hook. We'll find out. And that is the second hook on pain. So this is the problem. Well, the problem for doctor. All of that time wasted camping the Fang was really wasted. He gave up three gins uncontested for no reason because he didn't force the struggle. If you're going to take that strategy, you have to force the struggle or some type of hook swap, something. He did not get the hook swap or the struggle. He will get Cheryl down here, though. Okay, this can turn into something. I would have taken the hook on the Cheryl. Unless he's doing some crazy slug. I would have I would have taken a look on the Cheryl there. Or maybe once he forced the force the death on pain, I guess that works also. <laughs> wow. 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 And then get the unhook with the borrow time. And the for the people play. And the for the people play. And pathing the Cheryl is back up and Ace goes down. That will be Ace's first hook. The survivors are playing this very smart. The big mistake that was made on the killer's part was not getting that struggle or the hook swap and leaving and devoting that much time though on getting struggle. Um it's pretty much gave up three gens uncontested. So Pain is gonna have to hide. Pain is the chase that he wants. If he kills Pain with Doctor, he can create a situation where at worst case scenario, he gets a draw and Pain found a totem. We gotta see what Doctor's perks are. Lullaby. Okay, so we, we see Pain, is, excuse me, we see Twisted is running that build that Red Wolf has caused to make a lot of teams hate their existence. And Lullaby goes down. He had got it to three stacks. Lullaby is now down. He still has the unnerving, distressing, and overcharge. He didn't have corrupt, which gave the survivors basically at the beginning whatever three gens they wanted to get on. He is going to force the struggle on complexity, though. Skill checks are hard. Okay, the survivors should realize what the killer's doing. The killer's forcing the struggle. These two, the Cheryl and Fang should have doubled a gin. They should have doubled a gin. I understand they want to get the lullaby out. Okay, but now at this point, he's forcing the struggle and or the death.
distressing and unnerving presence mixed with spine chill. Remember, with spine chill, they're gonna get more, and that is a borrow time save. No, 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 no. Go after the ace. No, he, the ace was dead. The ace was dead. Even though he got hit with the borrow time, you have to stay on that ace. You have to get the death off of him. I mean, maybe he's gonna try to find him now, but you don't know if you're gonna find him. I think that the killing the ace was gonna be the way. And down goes Cheryl. He's gonna head right back to that hook though. Wait. Oh, wait. Ace needs to get healed up. Being that he's dead hook, he has to get healed up. Doctor is going to use that shock to find Nate's, which he just did. He does have both God powers downstairs. You see Pain working diligently on a gen. The doctor sees both of these two. Good thing that she vaulted right when she did. If not, she was not getting that roll. And this is why you split the, this is why you have more than one gin going as your primary gin. In case something like this happens, if I'm paying, I'm calling out the situation what it is. This pallet is no longer safe because that door is, but she has this vault. And the balance landing play. Drop the pet. Yeah, just drop it. You need to buy your team time. This is a this is a good interesting game. Because of that static blast, we see that they're constantly in a situation where they gotta snap out of it. This ace, does he have adrenaline? And the doors are powered for survivors alive. He sees the ace. I mean, what do you do here? You commit to the ace to try to get the down. He's going to fall downstairs, so he has to let that go. The doors are far enough that he can't protect all of them. All right, survivors can reset and then attack the doors. Someone could be on the door right now. They have a couple options. I'm probably thinking reset and then attack the doors, Just, but I play scared sometimes a survivor. They're playing Survivor aggressively, which is good. Playing aggressive is always a benefit. I mean, I'm surprised the killer chose. This is just a tough map, even for Doctor, for any killer. I think it was more because of the dare, why he did it. And we have a door open, and we have all four Survivors escaping. GG Survivors, GG Killer. And that match ends with a Survivor 4 out. With a final score of two to zero for your winners. Moving on with a record of four wins, one loss in the showdown. T U R. Okay.